welcome back to the channel, the world through Biggie's eyes. Today is an exciting day for me. I am headed right now over to the airport, headed out to Spokane, Washington, just for the night. Um, as the saying goes, third time's a charm. So this is gonna be the third time I'm gonna try to see Granger Smith. He is playing tonight in Spokane at the Knitting Factory. Um, was supposed to see him what was that September 2nd in Reno that got canceled because of wildfires I was supposed to see him on sun this coming Sunday the 14th in Seattle at Showbox Soto but he canceled that concert due to the requirement for King County King County Washington the requirements for a vaccine card or a 72 hour negative COVID test and for him, he doesn't feel like that's right. He should, everybody should enjoy a concert without any limitations or anything, which I give him so much respect for because you know, it is what it is. So right now I'm headed off to the airport, just stopped at the grocery store to pick, it, pick me up some coffee. And now, well, I gotta make a stop before I get to the airport to go pick up a book. Last night, I went to my very first men's Bible study at 116 Church. Pastor Billy Hoffman is amazing. He has to be one of my favorite pastors now. So yeah, so I'm his, I have to make a stop in Bellevue, stop at Barnes and Nobles to pick up a book that he recommended. Um, but yeah, we had, today's gonna be a great day. I get to go see Granger finally after not seeing him in two years and almost, two, yeah, almost two years. It was November, uh, December, December 14th, 2019 is when was the last time I saw him. So, anyways, yeah, today's gonna be fun. Today's gonna be exciting. Um, so come along on this venture, all right, guys? So let's get this started. Alright guys, well I just got here to Wally Park, just parked the car. Um, the book that I had to go get was Mansfield's Book of Memory Men. Um, this is the book that my pastor was talking about last night at Men's Group. So, it's going to be a good read. I want to just, you know, better myself and try to become a better person in the eyes of God. So, you can pick up this book picked this up at Barton's Noble. It was in the religious section. So, yeah. But yeah, let's get this trip started. I just checked Facebook that um, Granger just left Salt Lake City on his way to Spokane. So, hopefully he's going to be there when I get there. Because we're both flying Delta. <laughs> Anyways, alright man. Let's let's get this let's get this trip started, man. Even though it's only a, a 12, hour 12 hour trip for me, I'm just excited. Granger and whatnot. So, all right, let's get this started for real this time, right?
my alpha tonight. I got my Harriet's on, Harriet jeans on, the, uh, the flannel on. Shotgun flex fit hat and then my black knee jacket for the night. So let's go. I'm running late. As always. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Granger Smith, the man, the myth, the legend. He's the reason that I love country music. <laughs> oh, Granger, where can, where can my fans see you at or uh, find you? Granger Smith on every social media platform at Granger Smith. He's yeah. the most genuine guy you'll ever meet. <laughs> Granger, thank you. Thank you.
the woods, singing on a summer night. Take a rope sway with a tractor tie. Room stays high, but the county's dry. Country lane. I can't fish in a corner store. Thanking the Lord for an honest store. Trucking in a barn, don't play no more. Country thing. New York to California. Now that it's home, I'm like where you're born.
Well guys, I am now back in Seattle in my car. Um, sorry for the setup of the lighting. Um, it's still kind of early morning here in Seattle, it's seven o'clock. Anyways, I just thought I'd do my outro now since I'm gonna go home and pass out since I only got three hours of sleep last night. Didn't get back to the hotel room until about 11.30 and I had to be, no, I didn't get back to the hotel room until about 11 and I had to be up at 2.20 to make my flight this morning from Spokane. Anyways, last night was absolutely amazing. Granger, again, knocked it out of the park. What an amazing show. High energy, it had its lows, but it was just all around an amazing show. I am so happy that I flew out to Spokane to check it out. Um, like I said, third time's a charm, and third time's a charm was the best one. So, and, you know, Spokane was nice. I really didn't check it out that much. Just I had 12 hours there. So, you know, hotel, venue, back to the hotel. Anyways, but I met, I met a, um, a handful of amazing people. Um, John and Shelby. John is from Sammamish, so he's local from here. And then Shelby from Lewiston, Idaho. And then met a handful of girls, but couldn't remember their name for the life of me. But yeah, Granger, Chris, Dusty, Todd, Jonathan, thank you for an amazing show last night. Thank you for trying to have some kind of normalcy back during this pandemic. It is what I needed. Um, and I can't wait to see you guys in the near future. Anyways, well, I'm about to head home, drive home. I got a good half hour, 45 minute drive. Well, depending on how traffic is, about a half an hour drive. So, all right guys, well, I love you. And remember this, the greatest person you'll ever know is yourself. All right, y'all. Love you. Peace.